have a freeze headed towards Texas and when that happens, we have to prepare and make sure everything's wrapped and securely insulated so that we don't have pipes freezing and so on and so forth. So I have the twins in the car with me. They're going to do a learning experience today. They're going to learn how to cover and insulate a backflow preventer and some water spigots and so on and so forth down at the office with me. So, the fun things we got to do to keep things safe. So, come along with us. They look real excited, don't they? <laughs> okay, here we go. It's a possible hard freeze slowly making its way to Houston over the next couple of days. Uh, there will be several warming stations open up across the city. You left in my mailbox Sometimes love ain't meant to last forever It turns me back into the stone man I was people Been diving back into that Tennessee whiskey At least it has the decency to tell me it miss me preventer covered up, backflow preventer covered up, and out here we've got this backflow preventer, back, back preventer and water line covered up. So I'm going to go inside, make sure we have uh, the sprinkler system shut off, and then I think we're done here. Oh, I know, I'm chewing gum. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Sorry. And then this is what you want to do. You want to end up at the mall on with a the Sunday with the, with the twins. Yeah. Oh, you know me in crowds. I don't do it. I hate it. But I promised I'd drop them over here for a minute. I don't drop them off. No. Anyways, we're looking for sweatshirts and some kind of shoes. Not to say they're going to get them, but we'll see. And it'll be a cold day in hell Before these thoughts you fill up my head And it'll be a cold day in hell Before I let you back into my bed So we moved the palm trees inside the house, which would sit corner and corner over there. And then we just got done covering the fruit trees and the hibiscus back there. Mom was just, oh, there she is, she's walking. Now we're getting ready to go cover her plants and flowers. Oops. out in front of her house. Sorry for the sniffling. It is definitely cold out right now. Ooh. 
So, here we go. There's mom. And I guess the freeze is supposed to happen by, I think, 6 o'clock tonight and last close to 24 to possibly 48 hours. Okay. A weather alert day continues through noontime on Wednesday for the potential of some freezing rain, freezing drizzle that will be ongoing on this MLK day. Won't taper off until later on this evening. That freeze line has already pushed through the Houston area and making its way toward the coastline later on today. Now, as I mentioned, that freezing drizzle is expected to come to an end late tonight. Are you having fun yet? Hot? Are you having fun? Well, pisses me off when my yard guys say they're going to be here to do this and they're nowhere to be found and I've left my gate open all day for them and they're nowhere to be found so we're doing it today like they were supposed to be doing it so last now when we first moved in see all this vegetation we had to cover all of this remember I remember that last we year sheets it was sheets horrible and sheets so <laughs> Luckily this year, the only thing that will get frostbit and maybe die down is going to be the dinello, which last year, even though we covered everything, it still died down. So basically in the spring, they cut it back and it grows again. But all the other stuff, the peridillum, the holly, the roses, the irises, the palm trees, everything else is fine. So I said, we're not going to cover the dinella. If they freeze and we have to cut them down, no big deal, because last year we had sheets of white. Remember? I, I think I, I can pull pictures and video from it last year. Were they white or green? Both. I don't, I don't remember. Green. Anyways, this year all we're going to do is cover the cyclamen right here and the cyclamen here, and we're done. That's it? That's it. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> thank the Lord. And we just got done covering the trees in your yard. Yeah. So that's done. So my yeah. palm trees are like oh warm <laughs> this does not have to be covered thank goodness i know because last year remember and then the shit was blown off <laughs> I know. and we were running out here i was running out here freezing cold trying to cover Ooh. it back down and i was so mad i was I so mad i know because the year before his wife helped cover it and she did a good job and i told him last year i said next year meaning this year make sure you bring your wife to do it because she does a better job than you do I think women just pay attention to detail. You got that right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, this side is done. And now we're going to start on this side over here. Which, you're like, they don't look that great. Why would we want to cover them? Well, they were beautiful for fashion woodlands. And then the Weren't they red or white? White. White. They were beautiful. And then the lawn guy came to spray for insects. And the minute he sprayed for insects, they did this. And I said, dude, you were supposed to spray my flowers. I just spent a couple thousand dollars on beautiful flowers and you just killed them. Well, I'll let my office know. Lovely. So we're hanging on to them <laughs> until spring, and then I'm going to replace them with white begonias. So it is what it is at this point. We've been hoping the cold weather would bring them back to life. Who knows? The cold weather might just kill them. I don't know. But anyways, I was not about to replace them after the lawn guy sprayed some kind of bug repellent shit on them. Anyways. Yeah, it's always something, guys. It's always something. I'll always have that. Oh, we could have, like, kept this. <laughs> like, doubled? Oh, wow. I know. That's way back. We didn't? No, we didn't. Well, my... Shit, we might. We should. Well. Well, but it's not going to be long enough. So, but what if we... It's not, if, if, it's not long enough if we do. You don't think? Oh, you're right. So, wait. How many layers is this? Um, here, you can unfold it one more. Here. Oh, so here. Here. I got it. I grab it. So now it's doubled up. Yeah. So is that doubled up? <laughs> if it's oh. not, we should leave it doubled up. You got your hand? Oh, Lord, this is long. I'm just saying. 
doing it in this temperature than when it's 15 or 20 degrees. I know. So but I just saved myself a few thousand dollars because I'm sure that's what he would have charged me for labor to come do this. So whatever. It is what it is. That couple thousand I just saved will buy me another purse. About. I used to do this at Grand Regency too. You didn't have your long guys do it? Oh yeah, but then they'd do it wrong. And then it'd blow off and then I'd be out there in freezing temperatures. freezing cold but we could be like up in Wyoming and Missouri yeah talk to dad I'm like what's the weather oh you know negative 40 I'm like oh god no no I'm good I don't miss it because the length is what we need to go around the circle so I need to undo this have to completely undo it to get the length. Right, that's what I'm saying. I need that. I need the length. Okay. So we need to undo it. You got the undo ends. I don't. So let me grab this and pull it my way. And now we can do it. Oh, this thing is long. But see, that's what we need. We need to go halfway around the circle. So double it back up. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so that's probably, <laughs> it's a kite. So lay it down, right there. Let's stake it first. Okay. We'll stand. So, let's stake it right in here, and then we can start to turn it.
bunch right here. I don't know what that would do. Okay, the cold is reaching us. As you can see out here on my chairs around my fire pit, look, little tiny flakes of sleet or snow or whatever the hell that is. Ick. Oh my God, it's happening. My pool is running nonstop to keep from freezing. Look at that. Mm-hmm. We don't like that here in Texas. Um, we live in Texas because we like the heat, not snow and cold. See out here on my trash cans. Look, uh-huh. Sleet and snow. Look at that. Uh. Oh, here comes the cold, cold, cold. You can see it out there on the trampoline too. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got to bundle up for the next couple days. Huh guys, we got to bundle up. We got to bundle up. It's cold. We don't like it. Texas is not supposed to get into the teens. Not happy. Oh well, what are we going to do? Mm. 
stay safe. So what better thing to do when it is 26 degrees outside in Texas? It is cold. I got to get ready to go out and uh, lock my chickens up. I've got four little heat illuminators going on in their chicken coop, but they've got the bottom door open. So just talk to my sister who lives in Nebraska where it's like 40 below zero there. She said, literally go out and shut the door. Don't let them go outside anymore for the next 24 to 48 hours. As long as they got food and water inside, they're perfectly fine. So I got Carolina tearing up some chicken and I'm gonna get ready to whip up my homemade noodles and chicken for dinner tonight. I'm not gonna share the recipe because you guys have already gotten the recipe a million times. So go back and look at some of my old recipes. Quit it, I'm filming guys. They always wanna talk. They always wanna talk when I'm filming. But anyways, um, I'm gonna get ready to, to make up my noodle dough and roll out some noodles so we can have homemade chicken and noodles on a really cold night here in Texas. So I hope you all staying warm. Okay, so I've done about 12 eggs and I've added my flour. I'm gonna get ready to roll out these noodles, get them to dry them so we can have homemade chicken noodles tonight. Yay. So as you guys can see, got my noodles rolled out. They will be drying for the next couple hours. In a couple hours, we're gonna cut them. And then by five o'clock tonight, we're gonna be throwing them in a big pan with my chicken broth and my chicken that's been shredded and along with some more fajita chicken. You guys have seen this recipe a million times, so I'm not gonna go through the whole thing. Um, but anyways, we basically had a bunch of other stuff already filmed for today, but um, and it's sitting in a folder waiting. But because the freeze all across the United States and especially here in Texas is such big news, we decided to show you how we get prepared for a freeze here in Texas. Um, it's gonna be bad uh, until probably Wednesday at lunchtime. So about 48 hours from now, uh, we're gonna be hopefully warming back up. So we're gonna get ready to run out and put the chickens up and keep them locked in their little house now for the next at least 24 to 36 hours. They'll, I'll probably let them out Wednesday morning, um, but they've got to stay warm and I've got little heat illuminators out there for them. So let's run out there and get them ready for their nice little warm house. See, we need to go inside. See, we're hurrying. Yeah. I'm gonna put food in there for them. Grandma's in here putting another Actually, light I'm in. Unscrew this bulb for a minute. So yeah, and then we need to get these girls rounded up. See, oh, it's so cold. So yeah. Got a cord hanging. I know it's good. I gotta switch out tonight. Oh, they're mad. I know. I know. I know. You'll be okay. You'll be okay. You're like, no, You'll we won't. Okay. I know. I know. So, we have got everything covered out here that needs covered. Everything else is supposed to be sturdy and hardy enough to make it through this arctic blast so oh lord we live in texas for a reason we live in texas because we like heat <laughs> i don't know how many times i could say that i don't know how those fish survive out in that frigid cold oh, cold water Ooh. anyways guys i hope you enjoyed today's video like i said we'd already had monday's videos already uploaded into the folder and was ready to get going on it but then this arctic front was happening so i said you know this is affecting most of the united states so why not talk about it so anyways guys no matter where you're at in the united states i hope you're staying warm i hope you're staying safe uh, for god's sakes uh, if you're like most texans they don't know how to drive on ice 
I do know how to drive on ice because I lived in Wyoming for quite some time and Nebraska. So, um, but you won't find me out on the roads tomorrow. No, tomorrow's supposed to be like 15 to 20 degrees is all. So um, stay safe, you guys, no matter where you're at. Uh, just stay safe. And I hope you enjoyed today's video. Until Wednesday, bye-bye.